I spent six thousand dollars. Because look at this right here. Look at all of this. All of that is models all the way to back. Right here first, he said this is the best unit ever. I'm just kidding. This is like the funnest unit ever. So excited to get inside of all of this that I just can't hide it. Pirates, I got two words for you. Storage, auction, pirates. Ahoy, mateys! It is I, your captain speaking. Let's go find some treasure. Yo -ho! Sail the seven storage seas. Excited to get inside of all this that I just can't hide it. Woo! Pirates, I got two words for you. Storage, auction, pirates. Pirates, this is so exciting. We've been going through the storage unit and it is big one for the record book. I can tell you this much. I can't even, we got so much to go through. I love sports cards. Come on, baby. There's got to be something in here that we just can't let go of. We can't just be overlooking. There's got to be a good card in this collection somewhere. We got Charles Haley. These are 93s. This guy is very meticulous. So I'm going to imagine that your good cards are going to be well taken care of. Look at this. We got... Future, Classic, William Davis, Slam Dunk Heroes, Chris Weber. We got some good cards right here, maybe. There's a Joe Montaigne. We got a Brett Favre. Is that his rookie? I think that might be Brett Favre's rookie, actually, right there. <laughs> uh, he was a Niner fan, so he probably didn't care for Favre. A lot of Niner fans didn't. I still don't. He's a nice guy, but... 1990. Okay. All right. Immaculate shape here. Immaculate shape. Things like this are great for eBay. Jess sells the heck out of these. She's already got a bunch going on her eBay. Like these, these are sealed. There's a little damage there, but that's $75 or something. $79 on eBay. She already took one of those home. Clear Ultra. It looks like six. That's what it looks like to me. It looks like sets of cards. Oh. This one is a little better here because it's not falling apart. We got a bigger back at game day. Okay, we got game day, game changers, football heroes. I think there's one good football hero in there. I forget which one it would be. It would be autographed. Do we have that? No. There's a rare one that comes autographed. Would have been tight. We got some all-star rookies. It looks like a whole set of those. A whole set of upper deck. Who likes those cards? Comment below. Tops. Probably not. Probably one of your lower end sets right here. Probably one of your lower end sets, I would imagine. And then you come in here and we got Joe Montana. Hmm. And we got a couple more things down here. That go together 20 92 collector card expo number something of that's weird what are those mike wilson so much stuff so much stuff right there what is in this come on look at the years of dust right here that's one of the things that helped me gamble because it didn't look touched right this was hanging on the edge and i didn't know that there's legos in there but the box just looked kind of untouched so it helped me gamble on this storage oh yes we got some good ones we got the trauma team okay that's kind of cool and we have some lego harry potters some more Lego Harry Potter. Are these ones sealed? Yes. Yes! I like these because A, they're $100 bills. Who don't like easy to list $100 bills, right? 
That one's still sealed. What is that? One, two, three, four, five hundred probably, plus another hundred or more just for the used set. <laughs> this is probably the first box in the storage unit I saw. I opened it up on the right side was this and it just made me instantly enjoy the unit. Like I was like, okay, I think we're gonna be all right. I think that there's gonna be stuff in here. Just seeing this made me giddy. This is the whole Matt Williams. All things Matt Williams. <laughs> wow. Every Matt Williams card ever made, right? What is this? Joe Namath. Okay, that's not. That is a 1996 Joe Namath. Why? I don't know. We got Matt Williams, Matt Williams, Matt Williams. Rob. Okay. That's different. That is different. This one says 15. This one says 750. Barry Bonds, Barry Bonds. Oh, wow. That is crazy. All sorts of Giants cards, guys. I think I know where you're going to see these, right? Where, you know, where do you think we'll see these at? Comment below if you have an idea. All right. Nice. Some more football. I see it. I've been finding tons of these patches. These came out of nowhere. Cub Scout patches. Mm, what are these? We got Ricky Waters, hard covers. My son was looking for some of those recently. Here is a 91 upper deck baseball 700 card set, sealed. That's kind of tight, that's kind of tight. Oh, okay, what do we have in here? Okay, all right, James Worthy. James Worthy, are you worthy, James? I don't want to get my fingers on too many of these. They're not in hard plastics. They're just kind of loose. Ooh, Carl Malone. I thought that was Kobe for a second there, but the, the way that angled. Lafonso Ellis. That was probably a good card when that came out. And more cards, guys. That's kind of cool. We just got a, 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 a bunch of cards. That's what I see. I'm going to bring these over here because I don't know what these are, but they could be cool. Upper deck, Andre Reed. Upper deck, Warren Moon. Anthony Miller. Jerry freaking Rice right there. Look at that. Michael Irvin. I think I remember this game. Troy Aikman. Rhett Favre. These are 1992. 1992 right there, guys. A lot of Cowboys cards. A lot of Cowboys cards. Tons of those. A lot of football. That's a little sealed set of holograms. Wait a minute, Nate. Basketball cards. Ooh, holo jam. That could be kind of tight. 1993. Steve Young, Warren Moon, Dan Marino, Jerry Rice. That's at 16 bucks back way when. Look at this. Signed Trey Johnson. Wow. Dion, um, June 95. Okay, guys, this is freaking, this is nuts. <laughs> wow. World War One set, camouflage set. That is freaking awesome. Wow. Oh, it's paints, acrylic colors. All right, we've been setting side paints and stuff. All right, so even this stuff might even be worth eBaying just for that. Um, we'll have to see. More paint sets, more paint sets, more paint sets. This is exquisite. What do y'all speculate I should do with this? Is this worth me putting on the auction? Do I wanna just lot it out on Facebook Marketplace? This is not cheap stuff. I could bet you that is like eight bucks at the store nowadays. 
There's no telling, because nowadays everything's expensive. Look, ooh, nail branches. Comment below, help me out, guys. I'm like just bewildered. It's like. I'm speechless. It's been a while since I found a good unit. I, I've used to find them all the time, but lately they're far and few between like it used to be. Um, well, just I just haven't gotten that lucky. Now, now we have like a banger. We have a banger. Let's see what we have in here. Box 3F. Oh, ho. box 3F. Hmm. What are we going to do with these? I'm guessing this is just eBay Central, guys. Look at that. Wow. Models after models after models. Soviet tank. Is it put together? Nope. It's probably immaculate condition. Yep. Yeah. Look at that. No. Just all well taken care of. This is so freaking spectacular. Military always is just a hot thing. Anyway, sealed. Sealed. No, there's a barcode. Let's see. Let's just take a look. But the comps show four of them at a hundred bucks right there. So I would probably have to come in at 98, 88, right? That one is open, but still probably tight. Still probably a very made in Italy. You have to be careful with the boxes are gonna be, I wanna be very careful. The seal was broken, otherwise that would have made a big difference. But here we go, look at the size of this. That's gotta be about a hundred bucks right there. I mean, what is it, every tote? I don't know, I don't know guys. Uh, It just makes me so happy. I, I've been on. A, I've been kind of irked lately buying stuff, and I keep buying a lot of units. And it hit me yesterday when I was moving junk units. Like this is not me. I'm buying units just to try to be conservative, and it's, I don't enjoy it. It's not fun. It, it's like a regular job at that point. The fantasy of hunting big treasure costs a lot. High risk, high reward. But this makes it all worth it, right? That is freaking awesome. A, a freaking Healy. We got a jet fighter here. Okay. They're just coming, guys. Look at that. F4 Phantom. All sealed. What's your favorite jet here, guys? Guys, comment below right now what you guys are thinking. You haven't, we haven't even begun. I, a, I don't want to bore you guys with model after model. I told myself we'll set the models aside and I've been trying to do the other stuff that's fun. It's not like we won't see more, but should I kind of cut through and not show you? all hundred models or how do you guys want to see this comment below i appreciate it with that being said i'm going to get to the next box look at this has been sitting for a while so there was plastic tote plastic tote this was the second one in i was thinking there was something my thought on this unit was you see military models usually military people have military collectibles or so forth but we haven't seen really found any of that but that's what i thought might be in the trunk that was my belief belief in this what could be in here and it is definitely military. It is definitely 100% military um, things. It's not the military I was thinking, but it's military. Pre-ration modern. What do you think that sells for? I'm guessing probably like eight bucks. Very rare pieces, I'm guessing. I don't know. This is made by Hobby Fan. Holy smokes, guys. What is all this? Look, it's a modular silver rocket. US fire support. Um, just guys, look at these. These are freaking awesome. <laughs> I'm freaking juiced. eBay Gold. We got more guys. We got more guys. I'm just going to have to stack them up here and over here. It's just guys. Oh my God. Look at this. North African East painting jugs. Those are probably very rare. Here we got those guys. We got... A legend, APV, there is no barcode on these. Production legends. One, two, three, four, five. This is like, you dream of finding this type of stuff. You dream of finding these type of things. I found several units like this in my in my day. It's not like the first 
that's why I, I, I say you dream of it, right? Like, I've touched this before. I've seen things like this, and I manifest it. I've literally been watching videos lately of things I want to find, et cetera, et cetera. And most of everything I wanted to find, we have found inside of this. There's still some things in here I'm looking for. But, I mean, like, hypothetically speaking, who don't want to find, like, $80, $80 in every box? Easy to live, right? It's so much more fun than coffee cups and clothes. Lion Roar. This is some good stuff here. It's really well taken care of. I don't even, I don't even want to keep touching them, some of them, because I, like, I've never seen that one. That was in Chinese, maybe Japanese. The rock sets. It's just pieces that I don't even know. He must have had an idea of how to purpose them. What do you guys think? If you had to guess what is in this box, what do you think? What do you think? What do you think is in this just box? Over a thousand bucks, right? Over a thousand bucks. Oh, yes. Yes, we got more. Oh, from our last video, if you remember seeing these things, these things are freaking awesome. Yes, we did find several of these pieces in the last video and these are all nice cloisonne they're not even stamped like china they're like the more inexpensive these are very quality ones it's got a dragon pattern i saw a big one here oh yay i'm digging that these could be anywhere from like 25 to two three hundred bucks a piece and don't laugh trying to tell me i don't know what i'm talking about oh wedge wood we almost broke the wedgie wood those are a little bit of money we've been setting those aside in lots for the auction and we get another one this one's like a three leaf clover. Waterford crystal, we've been making lots of small stuff like this. This is kind of cute. A little Waterford leather opener, almost stabbed myself. That's gotta be a good $20 sale by itself. Um, more plates, Wedgwood, I'm presuming, no. Royal Dalton Holmes, that is cute. These are their beloved animals, so that kind of that kind of sucks. Um, I have a whole bunch of these that I've been setting aside. I don't even know what to do with them. I've got so many of them because people don't take them and I just feel bad. It's, I don't know what to do at this point. I have to learn to walk away from them. This is another one. This is... They're kind of cool woodblock print samurai style people. The Viking. Ooh. Time life books. And then we got some records, which I don't know what style we have here. The gospel record. Recorded live. Boys Home. Sibhan McKenna. It's looking like some classical and stuff that's not very usually sought after. So. That'll probably end up at the flea market with those bad boys. Now that is an awesome looking book right there. Shout out to the military. What is this? Ooh. Bayonets barbed wire. Who is this? Oh, Rumsfield. That's interesting. And jumping. Jehoshaphat. Man. Yes. Look at this. Sports cards for days, guys. Football, football, football. So many to even think about, it's crazy. Sealed top sets. 1989, 1990, another one. And then there's no telling what's in these boxes. Probably just mint condition sets. That score right there, I think we scored. I think we scored. I think we scored. Desert Storm, let's go. Let's go Desert Storm. That one's mint condition. We've got John Madden, mint condition. This bad boy right here, mint condition. We got, look, one, two, three. Ooh, the supplemental set. I haven't seen that one in a while. And then, I don't even know what to say is inside of here, it's so, just so ridiculous. 
a Topps football score set, 1991, open, but still probably equally as great. And then I don't know what starts to come in here. What has we got? Weird, he just opened up all these cards anyway. That's what people did. That's what people did. And I don't even know what to say is in here, right? What What is... Oh, I like that one. Some basketball, that's a good sign. Haven't seen basketball in a while. This is 1990, a whole set of those. All right, Pirates, we're going through a box of VCR tapes. Believe it or not, you have to do it sometimes. But these right here are sealed, so I definitely want to check that out. I don't know how good they are, but some sealed DVDs are doing extraordinary money, and people are actually grading them, which is nuts. This is the campaigns in the Pacific. I don't know about that, but I'm going to set that aside to look. I think Uncle Michael picked these all up off the ground, so I don't even know what was, what was in there. But they're a freaking Cinderella seal. We got the Muppets of Treasure Island. That's what we should keep. Oh, wow. Men in Black. Sealed. Maybe that's a good one. We'll have to take a look. BBC. Even some of them not sealed are good too, guys. Don't get me wrong. I, do, I really don't have time to go through every DVD or VHS tape every day. But I definitely recommend taking a look. So I, I look for seal ones. And then I'll scan them. And then if we don't like them, we, throw, we don't throw them away. We just... Please take them to the market. I'm going for that bad boy right there. I'm going for this right here. Right here. I'm going to go for this right here. Let me kick the chair, but we got it out of the way. Oh, my back. My back yard of me. I hope you guys saw that day. I almost died on one of those things. That thing right there, as a matter of fact. I don't even want to look at it. What in the... Alright. What is this weird, creepy... Maybe for graduating, I'm going to speculate. I hope that's what it's for. Ooh. Giants. Pins. Owls. They really liked owls. That is actually kind of a cool one. I bet you I could see my love keeping that put in her garden area. Ooh. Omega. We never found you. Jumping your host of that. It's stuff. What do we got in here? Looks like just costume pieces, to be honest with you. There's just a million of these things. What's that? A 20 30 $40 bill? Wow. And another one. Another $30 bill. $20 bill. $30 bill, maybe. $25, $30 bill. Is, is this... I'm just... To give an example of what it's like here, uh, 10, 20, 30, like I don't know what it is. It's crazy. I'm overwhelmed. I'm overwhelmed because this is not, I, I'll, I'll be an expert on this uh, in like two weeks, you know what I mean? Like I'll, I'll have to look up MK35 Dax Soldier and F184 and I'll find something. And if I don't find that, I will find something similar. And if I find this to be like eight bucks, maybe I'll put four of them up for like 20, right? Give somebody a deal, because look, I know I have another one. There's another guy there, and there's examples of these, but if I take my time, if I take my time and piece this out piece by piece, and I and I bin this up properly, and I get some skew numbers, and set all this up in such a fashion, I could really milk a lot of profit without a lot of hard work, right? Like, this is an easy package, $44 if it's a tank, right? I don't, let's, let's open it. Let's see what you, we, we can all see. Not like we can't, we can't afford to open one. Steel brand. You have to open them to make the ad, actually. Like, so a lot of people list these because they don't know what they are. So they pull them out. That's a body. And it is a parts. So that right there is easily 20 bucks minimum, right? Ho scale 187. Funken, Funkenheimer. Wow. Precise models, precise models, guys. This is ugh. another one, another one, another one. One that actually can see the picture of it, but it's still pretty cool. Or arguably the same price, right? That's you're gonna get an idea of what this one box holds. And this is just like a small box. Actually, we got 
something a little different. 49ers, shout out to the greatest team of all time in NFL and all of sports history. Like that is probably 10, that could be five. Like, whew, stickers. What does a sticker go for? How am I gonna sell these? Do I bunch them up? Do I bunch up all these stickers into sticker boxes? Another one of these. That looks really pristine. Tell me when you look at this box. Doesn't it seem like it just looks a little more fancier? Let's see how it comes in here. Let's see how it comes in here. All right. What, is this just the stickers for it? Holy freaking! wow. You got a little accessory assembly. Whatever these are was nine bucks, right? Like look, that little box was $9, guys. This one little piece here was nine dollars this was twelve dollars this is in the store this is ten dollars this is that's 40 bucks right there in the store who knows what these are worth probably at least 15 right man it, it, it's just added up like nobody's business i don't want to bore you guys I, that's why i need you guys' help please tell me what you guys want me to do and do you want to see every model or do i just move on to the next you know just do a couple more of these because I have over a hundred freaking boxes. Comment below, guys, what do you guys think? <laughs> the, the, even this, this, this stuff right here, the regular stuff we find all quite often is pretty dang cool, guys. 6,000 deep. Um, I've just been getting the, the scratch of service. We still haven't even touched the Star Wars and the hundred boxes of models, right? We haven't touched any of that. And it's... Mind blowing. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like button, the share button, subscribe, and say something pretty. I love y'all. Wow. Speechless! You know it's best you can ever ask for storage, Archie Pirate. Subscribe!